Welcome to Crafting at Home with Tully. My name's David. Today we are going to be making these really cool little paper sheep. They're really, really fun. Quite simple to do, but I'm sure you're going to have a lot. Uh, well, I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm sure you will too. So for this, you will need a slice of green card. I used A5. It makes it a bit easier. Don't worry if you don't have green. You can always colour it yourself. I also got a slightly darker colour of green paper for the hills in the background. I've used some cream paper for the back of my sheep, some white paper for the wool, and as always you're going to need some pens. I would suggest a black pencil as well, some glue and some scissors. Now, I would also suggest make sure you ask for an adult's permission when you're using the scissors um, or get an adult to help you with any of the cutting out that you need to do. Okay, so to start this craft, what you'll need to do is to get a picture of a sheep on your cream coloured card. Now, I did one earlier and as you can see, just on it. It's very faint at the moment, but that's fine because I'm going to be cutting this out shortly. I'm just going to go over these lines again so it's a bit easier for me to see. Now what you might notice is it's only got one ear. That's okay because I'm going to keep some of this card that's here to make a second ear and give it a 3D effect by having the ear popping out of the page. There we go. That'll just make it a little bit easier for me to cut out because I can see the outline now. So I'll grab my scissors and cut my sheep out. Now any of these bits that you cut off now, I would keep them at one side ready for making your ear and any other bits that you need for your sheep or any extra sheep if you want to do any sheep in the background as well and then if there are any bits left after that we can pop them in the recycling It's a little bit tricky doing the legs. You might want to do a slightly bigger sheep than the one I've done. So you're not getting too close with the legs. So that's my, the outline for my sheep done. Now I'm going to do my hillside background and then we're going to make the sheep look all woolly. So for that we need a nice green piece of paper and a dark green piece as well for the hillside or you could do it the other way around. I've just chosen to do it this way. Now I'm going to cut a nice big hill at one side arching over that way and then a little hill on the other side. Nice and simple, but it looks quite pretty. There we go. Nice hillside for this sheep to live on. So we'll click, quickly glue this down. So I'll run my glue around, make sure I've covered enough of it to make sure it sticks. And then pop my hillside onto my background. There we go. Now, of course, you could decorate this any way you want. I'm going to draw a little stream coming down through this little valley just to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now I might have a chance to colour this in properly later, so I'm just going to quickly scribble and colour it in a little bit, just to remind me the colour that I'm going to need to colour it later on. Or I could leave it like that, it looks like a river flowing through, there we go. So that just gives it a little bit more life. 
You could also draw, ooh, let's draw a couple of birds on there as well. Just to make it look like there's a bit more going on than a plain background. There we go. Now, my sheep is going to sit quite happily there. Perfect. So I'll just pop some glue on my sheep. And this is where you're going to need some help from people around the house. Because the next part you're going to need to do is with your white piece of paper, you're going to need to cut it into lots and lots and lots of very thin strips of paper. Now, if you have a paper shredder at home or anything like that, you could always see if you can use the paper shredder to cut it into little pieces, but make sure you get an adult's help doing that because paper shredders can be quite dangerous. If you don't, you'll have to do what I did, which is fold the piece of paper, and cut lots and lots of strips all the way along this piece. Now I did some earlier to speed me up because it took a while, but you'll want to make them probably about this big. So you have lots of strips of white paper ready to be made into wool. So to make them into wool, what you need to do is grab a couple together and roll them up, just a little roly-poly. Roll them nice and tight. And then pull them apart and you'll have some little spirally, wiry bits of paper that you can use as wool. Now this is where you can use some help from people in the house. You give them a pile of paper and say, here's a challenge, let's see how many you can do and see if someone can help you make them, maybe without telling them exactly what you've done. That's how I got all these done earlier. So I've got all of these done in the house. So now they can be stuck onto my sheep. So I'll put the glue on and just stick them wherever you want them to go. Now I'm going to put them, we're going to start off down here with all of these bits of spirally wool that I've made. What's nice is these kind of pop out the page and give it a bit of a, an interesting look and a little bit of texture as well. Now your fingers will get a bit sticky doing this by the way, so just Make sure that you clean your hands before doing the next part of the task, because otherwise you'll get glue on everything. And we don't want that. Now, I've maybe done a few too many of these, but I can always do a couple more sheep later on, or use them for other crafts at a later date as well. So I've got plenty of paper spirals I can use for lots and lots of crafty things. There we go. I think I've got enough space for maybe one more set of, of strips all the way along the top. That's just a couple more. There we go. So that's my sheep mostly sorted. Now it looks a bit plain, it's got no features. So I'm going to do a little bit of coloring and draw on a face. I'm just going to move my wool back into the little box so I can put it somewhere out of the way, ready for another craft later on. So my first thing to do, I think I'm gonna give this sheep a little black ear. So I'm going to color this ear in, there we go. Now it does look a bit odd with only one ear. So I'm going to grab the piece of paper that I already cut out earlier, but had left over. I'm going to cut out a slightly larger ear for the other side. Now if I color this in black too, there we go, it's all ready. And just fold the bottom of it a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny fold, just like that. 
and then we're going to pop glue just on the fold and pop it onto the side of the sheep's head going into the wool but it just pops out a little bit and makes it look a little bit more interesting gives it a bit of a 3d face now i'm going to also color in my sheep's nose with a very bright pink And then I just need to fill in the other features. So I'm going to do a little mouth, just like that. And two eyes. And you'll have a lovely paper wool sheep, ready to go gambling around the fields. Now, like I said, you've got plenty of spare bits of paper, so you could always make a second sheep to go on the same picture or make another sheep to put somewhere else as well. There's plenty of opportunities of interesting things to do with this one. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon.